Okay. So this one it says <clears throat> Jeff has eight thousand dollars and would like to purchase a ten thousand dollar bond. Okay. In doing so, Jeff takes out a ten year loan of two thousand from a bank and will make interest only payments at the end of each month at a nominal rate of 8% convertible monthly. He immediately pays 10,000 for a 10 year bond with a par value of $10,000 and a 9% coupons paid monthly. Okay, so calculate the annual yield rate that Jeff will realize on his $8,000 over the 10 year period. Okay, well, the first thing that we have to notice is that Since Jeff takes out a 10 year loan of $2,000 from a bank and he will make interest only payments at the end of each month at a nominal rate of 8% convertible monthly, that means that on top of his loan of 2000, the conventional thing is to always multiply the effective interest rate by the loan to find the amount of interest uh, only payments that he's gonna make. So what we're gonna do is that we're gonna do 2000 times uh, eight percent convertible monthly. So, what is eight percent convertible monthly? It is point six 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 percent, right? Now, uh, yeah, it's point six 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 percent. So, the percentage that we are looking for is this amount. We're going to multiply both of these together. So we're going to do 2,000 times 0 0.0066. And we're going to get 13.2. This is the amount of interest only payments that he has been paying um, at the end of each month. Right. Now, afterwards, he immediately pays $10,000 for a 10 year bond with a par value of 10,000 and 9% coupons paid monthly. So that means that we're going to take the 10,000 with the par value, yeah, the par value of 10,000 and on top of that, 9% coupons paid monthly. So not only does he pay, pay interest in this scenario, but he also pays coupons on here too. So nine divided by 12 is 0.75. So it would be 0 0.0075 times 10,000. So it's gonna be 75 here, right? So, uh, Jeff has 8,000 would like to purchase this amount. In doing so, Jeff takes out a 10 year loan of 2,000 from a bank and makes so interest only payments at the end of each month. At a, so he makes, in doing, in achieving this goal and of uh, wanting to purchase a $10,000 bond, though he only has 8,000, is he makes interest only payments at the end of each month of this amount. Then he immediately pays $10,000 for a 10 year bond with a par value that pays uh, he mainly pays for a 10 year with a put and then not bring the paid monthly. So he also purchased a bond that distributes 75 monthly as well. So now, uh, since this is what he's paying and since this is what he receives when he pays a bond that distributes $75 amount of coupons monthly, uh, we're going to subtract both values to get the net income, right? Because this is how much we're spending, this is how much we're getting. So we're going to get like a net gross income of 61.8, right? Now, he, Jeff only has $8,000, right? So... We want to calculate the annual effective rate that Jeff will realize on his eight thousand, uh, on his eight thousand over the ten year period, right? So again, he only has eight thousand one and two because he pays 
since he pays a loan of two thousand dollars and uh has a uh, ten thousand dollars in relation to how many coupons that he received again like we did before how we calculate net income from what he received from the coupons and interest payment of this we're also going to do ten thousand minus two thousand which is also eight thousand as well so that is another indication of why we set a formula equal to eight thousand to find the effective yield rate so we're going to do eight thousand equals to what we've gotten from here, right? Uh, coupon payments minus interest can be 61.8 A to the, this is 10 year monthly times, that means the annual, the interest rate must be divided by 12 plus Uh, 8,000 B to the 120. So now, uh, Jeff has this amount, that amount. Yeah. So now what we're gonna do is that we are gonna solve this. So I'm gonna do use TVM. I'm gonna set eight thousand as the Present value if you want So I get that the interest rate is around 0.77, right? Now, this is all in terms of monthly. So we want to convert this interest monthly interest rate into annual. And uh, so then we find out we convert it, and then we find out that the interest rate is nine point sixty four percent, which is closest to answer B. So another thing that we have to realize here is that this is the amount of interest that we need to pay off. And this represents the amount of uh, payments that we are expected to get from the coupon. And once we subtract both, we end up getting this. I think this is related to the concept of an interest plus principal that always represents a payment. So if we were to do payment minus interest, then we would be able to get the principal 61.8 to be put in here. And um, another thing is, is that Uh, 10 year immediately pays 10,000. Mm -hmm. And yeah, that's pretty much it.